Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Mod Monday video. Today, instead of talking about a specific mod, we are going to talk about configuration files. Every single mod comes with one. So if you open up your Minecraft, your roaming.minecraft, you have your bin, and then if you have mods installed, there should be a folder called config. You open it up and all the configuration files for whatever mods you have installed will be listed here. Now, most of the time, it'll just say, have a little blank piece of paper here. Now, however, you can see my icon is a little different. Now, what I did is if you double-click on a class file or a configuration file, you double-click. If you have Windows 7, it'll come up saying that you don't have a program that can read it. Uh, click or use the web to find an appropriate program. I clicked on that and found a program that was able to read the configuration files. So I downloaded it, installed it and now I can read them. So if you just click on any particular one, so for example, today we're going to talk about the Biomes of Plenty and the Extra Biomes mod configuration files in particular. So if I open Biomes of Plenty, it comes up saying Biomes of Plenty config, don't really worry about what it says in here, and then you have your configuration information right here. So configuration file generated blah 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 blah. Now my date actually says t uh, says well, what was today, because I pre-recorded this video. So that means I've already made changes to it. So you can read all this, so biome IDs, doesn't really mean anything. Biome settings we will talk about, biomes to generate we will talk about, and then the block IDs, item IDs, etc. However, you can click on it and you can notice you can't really edit it. I'm typing in numbers, but nothing is happening. So what you do, select all, copy, open up your notepad and paste. So now you have an editable version of the configuration file. So you can just close that, it doesn't matter. And now you have your configuration file. So, what I want you to do, go back to your config file, delete biomes of plenty, and you can just minimize that for now. So now we are going to alter the biomes of plenty configuration file now that we have the information in a notepad. So I'm just going to scroll down to where it talks about the biome settings. So biome size, 4 is default. So when you create a new world without changing the biome sizes, it automatically gives you a biome default of 4. If you want super small biomes, you just backspace that 4 and change it to 2. If you want biomes to be compatible with an extra large, or the large biome settings, you simply delete the 4 and type in 6. However, I like the default. You want enable biomes true, and then they have some changes to enhance vanilla biomes. So you can type in true, or leave it as true, for it to be turned on. If you want it off, you simply change that true into a false. But I want to leave it as true. And then biomes to generate is where you can have some fun. You can turn off the biomes that you do not want to to be to be spawning, I guess, or generating. So Alps, Arctic, Badlands, etc., all the way down the list. So you can see I have Alps as true, Arctic as false. So the Arctic will not generate because Extra Biomes has an Arctic that is very similar. Badlands true, Bamboo Forest true, etc., Birch Forest false because Extra Biomes has a Birch Forest, etc. I have Glacier on false, but for some reason one still generated in that world, but that's okay. Because that Glacier does have a slightly different block generation style. And then they have Extreme Forest, or Extreme Forest, Extreme Hills and Forest, which are just a newer version of the vanilla, the vanilla ones. So you can see if you just happen to look through my configuration file, a lot of them say false, because I turned off quite a few of them. So, once you have that finished, you click File, Save As, and save it to somewhere other than your Minecraft config file. So, I have it in here as Biomes of Plenty. So, I'm going to click that, so I'm going to click Save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And then, once you have it saved, you can go to Save As again, and you have it typed in Biomes of Plenty, then you hit dot .f or .cfg for config. You hit Save already exist, you want to replace, because I already have one, so I want to click yes. However, if you haven't fiddled with your config files yet, you won't have to do that. 
So then, go to where you have your configuration file saved. So for me, it's in with my mod pack. You want to copy that. You want to open up your config file, and you want to paste that right in there with it. So then, with all your config files, then you have biomes of plenty back in there. And then I'm going to open up the extra biomes one, because I want to see what we can change with this one, because some of the biomes are similar. So I'm going to open up my notepad again, go into paste, go into close that, and I'm going to delete extra biomes out of there. So, this one is quite a bit more significantly different than the other one. So, Alpine allow villages, true, Alpine enable generation. So if you want to turn off Alpine, you have to hit false for both of those top ones, and then the ID won't matter. So, Alpine allow villages, true. I want the alpine, yes. Autumn woods, birch forest, I'm actually going to turn off because I don't really care much for the birch, birch forest. So you just simply take out the true and put in false instead. Extreme jungle, allow, yes. Forested hills, sure, that's a nice little biome. Glacier, I'm going to turn off because I like the biomes of plenty glacier better. So I'm going to turn that off. Green hills, yes. Green Swamp, yes. Ice Wasteland, well, no, I don't really like the Wastelands because we have the Deadlands and the Badlands in the other one. So Marsh, yes. Meadow, sure. Mini Jungle, why not? Mountain Desert, I don't really care much for because it is similar to the Dunes in the Biomes of Plenty. Mountain Ridge, sure, why not? Mountain Taiga. Pine Forest is similar to our to our coniferous forest, so I'm going to hit false for both of those. Rainforest, yes. Redwood forest, of course. I'm actually going to turn the lush redwood forest off because I don't. They're pretty much the same to me. I've never really noticed much of a difference. Savannah, I want to keep. Shrubland, yes. Snowy forest is similar to the frost forest, so I'm going to turn that one off. Snowy Rainforest, yes. Temperate Rainforest, Tundra, yes. And then Vanilla Generations, I don't want to change those, but I'm going to get rid of the Wasteland at the bottom of the page. Woodlands allow, yes. And then here are all your block IDs, so you don't really need to change those. You want your mod says enable support for other mods, you want that true. And you, yes, you want to remain true for the craftable items. So, once you've done that, file save as, extra biomes, yes, extra biomes dot cfg, yes, close that. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. Open back up your config file. Open where you have your other configuration saved and paste right in there and you're done. And then the same, you can go through pretty much any configuration file and mod it to some extent. However, I'm just going to leave those ones as such. Now, Simply Horses and Atmos Mobs had ID conflicts. Now I'm not going to show you guys how to change ID conflicts for yourself because it is somewhat of a complicated process. However, I have fixed the ID issues. So now Simply Horses and Atmos Mobs are compatible. I will be, within the next week or so, if I haven't already, be posting the content pack again. It will have this new configuration file for Simply Horses in it. Please you're downloading this, leave that there. Please don't try and change it any more than it already is, because I've made it compatible for both mods. So now all my mods are compatible, you have all the items, and there's nothing you have to worry about at the moment. And all the mods. So, close that, and that is the end of our configuration file chat for today, and I will see you next week with our next mod update.